All right, how's everybody doing out there today in Math Magic Land? This is Miss Muscarella coming at you, and we are going to take a look at characteristics of graphs with end behavior. Now, when we talk about end behavior, that means we got to look at the ends of the graph, fools. Nowhere else. So that means on the left side, I'm looking down here. I don't care about all this curvy stuff in the middle. Curves are nice, but we're not worried about those right now. And then I'm going to look at the right side of the graph, which is up here. So I'm only looking at the left side and the right side, and looking at nothing in the middle, only the stuff around the outsides at the ends. Now, when we analyze end behavior, there's going to be six things you're going to have to do. First, you're going to look at the left side of the graph. You're going to write something down, and that what you're going to write down is as x approaches negative infinity, because that means the left side of the graph in math speak. Then you're going to analyze whether the graph's going up or down. If it's moving up, you're going to write f of x approaches infinity. If it's going down, then you would write f of x approaches negative infinity. Then you do that same process on the right side of the graph, except for you would write as x approaches infinity. And again, you analyze whether the graph's going up or down. So let's just kind of take a look at this first example here, and I think everything will make sense. Here we go. Now, when we describe the end behavior of the function graph below, first thing we're going to do is look at the left side. Now, remember, the left side is where? That is right here. Boom. So we're going to analyze that left side. And when we do, we're like, hey, we got to write this down as x goes to negative infinity because that's the left side. Now, when I analyze that, remember, that's going where? That's going down. So anytime that's going down, we're going to write f of x is going to approach negative infinity because that's going down. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to analyze this other side over here, the right side. When we analyze the right side, notice that is going up. So first thing we're going to do is write down, of course, as x approaches infinity because that means the right side. And since our graph is going up, we're going to write down f of x approaches infinity. That's it. That's all you got to do. Straightforward. Nothing else. Now, let's take a look at this one. Ooh, a little curvier here. No big deal, because we don't care about the curves in the middle. We only care about the ends. So, on the left side, what we're going to do, of course, is write down as x goes to negative infinity. Now, if I look at this graph, boom, that's going up forever and ever and ever, which means that the graph f of x will approach infinity. Now, on the right-hand side, if I look over here on the right-hand side, that graph is going down forever and ever and ever, which means as x goes to infinity on the right-hand side, since my graph goes down, f of x is going to approach negative infinity. So, that's all we need to do for that. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's still go ahead and take a look at a third example. Check it. Mag Daddy, M. M in the middle. Now, again, we're analyzing the ends right here and right here. Now, notice they both point in the same direction. They're both going down, yo. So, part of this is going to look the same. Now, what we want to do, oh, as always, anytime you're given that first part, you want to analyze the left side. So, as x goes to negative infinity, what's going on? Graph's going down. So, f of x approaches negative infinity. Now, on the right-hand side, we're doing the same thing. So as x goes to infinity, so that's the right-hand side, f of x is going to negative infinity also. That's it. Boom. You got this stuff. Now, of course, wouldn't be any video without me giving you at least one, if not two, to try on your own. So, draw a sketch of these, pause the video, and check your answers. All right, Rockstar, how'd you do? I'm sure you got both A and B correct. If not, just fix your mistakes and analyze what you did incorrectly on this. On the left-hand side, we've got an even degree function. And then just kind of as a side note, any function that's even degree will look like the one on the left. It might have more curves in the middle, but the ends, the end behavior, are going to either be both going up or they'll both be going down. On the right-hand side, we've got an odd degree function. And odd de degree functions are always going to go in opposite directions. So on the left side, you might be going down. And on the right side, you're going up or vice versa. But more on that in other videos later on. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace out.